Welcome back. The First Citizens Investment Services Limited held a conference over the weekend focusing on the empowerment of women to make better informed decisions about their financial well-being for themselves and their families. This is the first in this series of annual conferences targeting women and once again organizers say they are pleased with the level of interest shown. As we hear in this report, the issues discussed were critical and reflected and reflected the very real concerns of women. The turnout at the Bay Gardens Resort on a Saturday morning was confirmation that women were taking charge and paying close attention to their financial independence. This is investing in your own self. It's not investing in a company or your child. It's investing in you. It helps to listen to network like they talked about. Um, you're in a similar group and there will be variations from one person to the other. But we're all going through exactly the same thing and we need to take time out for our own selves. And sometimes that way is by networking in a, an event like this, being able to listen to what other people are saying. Among the presenters was Sharon Christopher, the Deputy Chief Executive Officer of First Citizens Bank in Trinidad. Ms. Christopher, who has over 25 years experience at executive levels in the corporate world, spoke on parenting and leadership a topic that inspired many at a conference. Um, she had a lot of actual experiences to draw from, so it's not somebody telling you how to do something or what to do from a very theoretical point of view. It was very, very practical, and um, I really enjoyed that part of it. Well, sometimes people think that to be an effective leader, then when I, I either will not have children or if I, or I, I wouldn't be able to deal with my children properly. And I wanted to say that the same skills that you require to become an effective leader, it's the same skills that you require to be an effective parent. The First Citizens Deputy CEO says the approach to parenting and leadership ought not to be different as the same set of skills apply. But we talk in the corporate world about strategy. And everybody talks about having a strategic perspective and what does that mean? It seems to be a big move. And strategy is really about defining your purpose, what it is, who you are, and what it is you want to do and how you are going to get there. Women attending were also concerned about the statistics that women outlive men and consequently have greater financial needs. It was an issue noted by freelance journalist Maria Fontenelle. And women have found to their detriment that sometimes not even outliving your spouse, just getting divorced, you know, could shake your world and you have nothing to stand on because you have no skills, you have no money, you don't have that support. So it's showing women don't depend on anybody else but yourself. In fact, you can depend on people but still have the backup for yourself. Save your money, know what you're about. You may have a husband who's providing for you but still have your own savings on the side just in case something happens to him or he chooses to... to be out of your life. The women attending found the conference to be enlightening and empowering and look forward to the practicality of the suggestions made by presenters.